And the greatest secret of vintage port is keeping things simple. And one of the beauties of traditional foot treading is that it's a method which has been perfected over centuries where it is the method that most respects the grapes that we're working with and the terroir. The method does not vary from one of our wineries to another. So the difference in style of vintage port from one quinta to another is totally down to the different terroir because the method is the same. Here we can see a lagar, which is, uh, it was cut last night. So this lagar was filled and picked yesterday. Last night the first treading went on and the fundamental sign of a well cut lagar is having all of the seeds sitting on the surface. This is a, a fascinating year by the sheer quantity of seed. It's a good sign. Uh, they're very brown, very dark, um, well seasoned, and uh, absolutely beautiful looking lagar. Here we've got a lagar which uh, is at its final stage of fermentation. This is waiting to be fortified, so at the moment it's not been worked. You can see the boards across. Uh, these boards are here to uh, to work the, the fermenting uh, must with what we call the macacos, the wooden plungers. Once the fermentation starts, there is no more treading going on in the lagar, and uh, all of the work is done with the plunging. And you can see, again, the skins have been um, worked hard to release all of the colour and the tannin. You know, a bit of a, a pulp sitting on the surface, nice and hot. It's going to make an incredible pour this one. This is the birth of a young port wine. We've got the fermenting juice coming out from the lagar and the neutral grape spirit, 77%. As it goes into the juice, it kills the yeast, stops the fermentation, and all the natural sugar is retained. The birth of a young port wine.